All right, um, today I'm gonna do a video on my diamond turf tubes. See the name and all. Right now, these are clean, so I just cleaned them. But I'm gonna show you how to clean them. But right now, I'm gonna show you how to clean this way too. But as of right now, let me show you the things you use. I use Arm and Hammer with a toothbrush and make sure you got some hot water and then you have to have a rag when you're using that too so make sure you have a rag around and then oh yeah I used a toothbrush but then I have bleach and I spray that Ugh. I spray the bleach on all the white pieces I mean all the white parts make sure when you're spraying it too is you're careful when you're doing it and don't spray a lot because if you cut like constantly continue spraying bleach, it'll turn your shoe yellow. And at last, I use this to clean the suede. If you need to find it, you need to go to like your local foot locker or something. I don't know. But um, yeah. So let me show you how to clean these with your arm and hammer stuff. Let me take this out. Alright, so you make sure you have your hot water on. Make sure you have your hot water on. And get your rag. Heat that up. Get it wet. And make sure it's squeezed out. And you get your toothbrush. Forget it, I'll dip it in there. And you get your arm and hammer out. If you can, kind of push some of it to the side. So that way you have some more to come back to. And then put the water, I mean put your toothbrush in the water with the arm hammer on it. And then just go on it. Now it won't do nothing to the sway, but try to miss the sway. Alright, now put it all on there. And just clean it. Don't get a lot of water on it. Alright, yeah. And just clean it. And you know, you just do this all around the shoe. Let me get more of this. More on the hammer, more on top of it. Turn the water off. And you just keep scraping until you get your mark off. And if that don't work, that's why the bleach is here. And the bleach will take it off. But yeah, just keep doing this all the way around the shoe. And now, I'm going to, like, now once I get done with this part, I'm going to skip to the bleach in your shoe. Alright. The Arm and Hammer does take off the little dye on your pants, I mean on your shoes, on your pants. But I just tried it with the other one. I don't know if you can see the dye right in there. Maybe just keep scraping it. Ooh man, I forgot that way. Alright. Yeah, keep scraping it. Alright, now once you're done with that. Alright, now you just take it and go over the parts that you had just cleaned, the arm and hammer, stuff, and toothbrush, and wipe it all off. Alright, yeah, wipe it all off. You see, it cleaned my whole entire shoe. All it is is just one little black mark right there that just won't come out. And if you have any more arm and hammer left between the cracks, you just turn your water on. And turn it on. You turn it 
turn your water on and make sure you get it where it only hits the white piece instead of this wave. Alright, and just get between the cracks. Uh, I'll take the towel and dry it off here. Yeah. Just wipe it off. Alright, I ain't gonna do the rest of this real quick because I gotta. Sh I'm trying to make this video quick while showing you. Alright, let me skip to this one. This one I had already cleaned, but I didn't do it with the bleach yet. Alright, hold on, let me show you. Let me just take this little stopper. I mean, this thing. Alright, now with bleach, you're doing the same thing, but you're just spraying, spraying it on the edges. Make sure you don't hit this way. Like, if you have to, just put it, like, right there on top and just spray a little bit. And then I'll get it. And you just get your drag and wipe around it. See, it's all, like... Go all the way around like the same with the other shoe. Make sure you get all of this. All right, Let's see. Now, I don't know if bleach takes out the dye in your shoe. But I know the arm and hammer took it out already before I did it with the bleach. Alright. So I it's going around. And you know if you just already know how to do this part, since I've been showing you going it all around, you go ahead and skip up to the part where I'm about to do the sway after cleaning this. But right as, as of right now, I'm just showing you to be careful and miss all the suede and only hit the white. You can hit the hard black piece, but miss all the suede piece part. Hold on. And then we go to this one. Now for this, you pull that out and make sure it hangs out. Okay, don't spray that, I guess. Um, make sure you get all of that. Alright, see it's clean now. And then, just fold it back in. Or put it however way you had it last time. Alright, now hold on, let me show you if you want all of these to be tight in again. All you do is just close it, like get this, push it in, and close it, and by the time you come back to wearing it again, and unravel it, look, let me get it off, and you unravel it, it'll all be tight again, and then it'll look all close up together. But as of right now, let me get to the part of showing you how to clean your suede. All right, I gotta show you this outside. All right, so we outside. Don't mind the shoes I got on now. These are my boredom shoes. I put these on when I go outside. But yeah. Oh, there's bees. Yeah, it's right now. You see my suede. Now you get the ultra protector. I guess you shake it up. I always do mine. I don't know if you can see, mine's got the little white sparkly things on it from the Arm and Hammer. But you just get this. And let it air off for a second. But make sure you get, I don't know if I showed you, but yeah, spray it on. Make sure you get all this way if you can. Let me get in 
there. On the other side. And now, it is dry. Oh man, I just messed it up. Alright, now, if it's dry, just tear it off, or just swing it around, hold on, it's my neighborhood, you guys, <laughs> I'll air it off, and then, if you can see now, there's no more of the little black and white sparkly things, it's all clean now, this is how it looks. At the, that's a uh, oh snap so that's how you spray the stuff on there loud ass car that's how you spray the stuff on there get it all clean and now this is how my shoe looks and if you notice uh, let me show you how I have both two different shoe strings on both my shoes alright oh man now here goes the shoe I just cleaned it was a shoe I had stopped on because I had to sh wanted to make this video quicker. And see, I have two different shoelaces on mine. Let me show you how they look on your feet, even though this one right here isn't done. But, um, hold on. Alright. So this is how they look on your feet. Bring them close to the other side view. Turn around. How the back of them look. And the other side of you. Alright, uh, yeah. How the bottom look? Well, my bottom dirty. So, yeah. Diamond and Turf 2s. They're really comfortable. They're straight. I like them. I like them a lot. They go with a lot of things I have to wear. Uh, I don't wear them too much, but they get dirty when I wear them. And they're, they're comfortable, I guess. They're kind of comfortable. And, you know, you can adjust them, make them tighter. Or just, or just set it up as a design, however you want to wear it. Oh, let me put this thing in here. You can have a design like that, or have it like that, or just put it all the way around and have it look like that. But I don't, I don't like it looking like that. I like this side the best, though. Yeah, so this is a video of my Diamond and Turf 2s. Rate, subscribe, and look at how to clean other shoes that I have. And mostly all of them are Chucks, because all I wear is Chucks. So, yeah, please rate, subscribe, and go check those out. And like. So, um, thank you.